friends this is this is supriya and this is my channel learn with supriya today i am going to teach you a small trick to find out the square roots of numbers up to 3 digits or up to 4 digits the usual method is the long division method which takes a lot of time to calculate there are many occasions such as the mathematics exams or competitive exams where you need to find out the square roots of numbers in no time and if these kind of tricks which i am going to teach you it is going to be of a great help to you to find out the square roots so let us learn how easily we can find out these square roots with a very short cut method the first slide shows three words first is learn then practice and implement now this slide is telling you the headline that is how to find out the square root of a number up to four digits by a shortcut method now make pairs of digits starting from the extreme right the leftmost digit may or may not be paired up and the number of such pairs is equal to the number of digits in the square root the step 2 find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the number under the leftmost bar this is the leftmost digit of the square root students this table will be of a great help to you let us see how okay so if the units place digit of the number whose square root you are about to find is 1 then the units place digit of the square root will be it can be 1 or it can be 9 if the number is 4 the digit units place digit in the square root number can be 2 or 8 if it is 5 then obviously it will be 5 if the units place digit of the square number is 6 then the units place digit of the square root can be 4 or 6 if it is 9 the possibilities are 3 or 7 and if it is 0 then obviously it will be 0 the step 3 guess the units place digit from the table given and the step 4 is choose the correct digit by squaring one of them students you must have seen the steps which we follow to find out the square root in the previous slides now you will understand it better when you take an example and you look at it and how it is solved so let us take an example of the number 7396 it's a four digit number and we are supposed to find out its square root so as i said first you start putting bars from the extreme right so 96 will come under one bar and 73 will come under the second bar now we take the number 73 this number 73 lies between the square of 8 and the square of 9 that means it lies between 64 and 81 so we take the lower number out of the 2 so the tens place digit will be 8 now the units place digit we take the number 96 which ends with 6 now you refer the table which is given before that means the units place digit can be 4 or 6 so try with 4 if you square 84 it is 7056 that means it is not equal to 7396 so ultimately the units place digit will be 6 so the square root of 7396 is equal to 86 students here there is one more example 4489 you follow the same steps which i explained to you just now and you will refer this slide also for it and you will get the square root of the number 4489 as equal to 67 now students let us take a three digit number that is 676 and we'll try to find out its square root so start putting the bars from the extreme right so 76 will come under one bar and 6 will come under another bar so from that we can understand that the 6 number 6 is not paired because it is a three digit number now we take the number 6 it lies between the square of 2 and the square of 3 that means 6 lies between 4 and 9 so we take the number 2 as the leftmost digit now we take the number 76 which ends with 6 so as per the values of the table the units place digit can be 4 or 6 
So if you take a square of 24, it is 576, which is not equal to 676. So obviously the units place digit will be 6 and the square root of 676 is equal to 26. Students, so remember the steps of finding the square roots of the numbers up to 4 digits which you may frequently need while solving many questions. Dear students, let us take one example, a number 7396 whose square root we will try to find out. Now what are the methods that already I have explained? Let us implement those steps in finding out the square root of this number. So what is the first step? The first step is we start putting the bars on this number starting from the extreme right. So 96 will be under one bar and 73 will be under another bar. Now we take the number 73. This number 73, it lies between the square of 8 and the square of 9. That means it lies between 64 and 81. Okay, so out of these two numbers, we select a number which is less than this number or if it is possible, equal to that number. Now, 64 is less than 73, which is the square of 8. So, the tens place digit or the leftmost digit will be 8. So, one digit we already found out. The second digit, to find the second digit, we take the number 96. Now, 96 ends with the number 6 as it is shown here. Now, I have given a table where you can refer why that number 6 will come to a conclusion that it can be a number, the units place digit can be 4 or it can be 6. So, if 4 4s are 16, we get the digit 6. 6 6 are 36, we get the unit place digit as 6. So, we will try with 4. So, first we will take the tens place digit is 8 and the units place digit 4. So, 84 square is 7056. And we know that it is not equal to 7396. So what is the only alternative we have? 86. If you take 86, this 86 square is 7396 or the square root of 7396 is 86. See, I didn't have to use any rough paper or any long division, nothing. Only I need to remember the table and that is not very difficult to recall. You can easily recall and find out the square root in no time. So I think it will be a very useful trick for you children. Please make use of it and the three important steps. The first is learn, practice and implement. So friends, with my explanation, I am sure you must have got the trick to find out the square roots of numbers up to three digits and four digits. So this session of videos and the tricks will continue further also. So stay tuned to my channel Learn with Supriya.